Hey everyone, I'm Rachel, and I haven't done one of these videos in a minute. Although more specifically, I have never done one before where I recommended books. So welcome to this new thing that I am trying and may do again once in a while. Um, so today we're gonna start with two books about feelings. This one is called The Shadow Elephant. There it is. There's the author and illustrator. Da 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 da. It is so delightful. It basically is about an elephant. Here's our elephant suffering from malaise. I know this feeling. And his little friends want to make him feel better. But you know what? Sometimes the best way to make someone feel better is to just kind of be gently sad with them, which is sort of sort of what, what happens here. And it's really sweet. And it's a great book to discuss with kids what it means to not feel good and how everyone has a different way of wanting to feel better and that it's okay to just kind of accept a little bit of sadness in yourself. Um, so that's what I'm really excited about. Then we have this bad boy, The Grumpy Fairies. Author. This one's also pretty cute. It combines two of my favorite things, fairies and grumpiness. I can be a little bit of a grouch um, and so you know what I related to a lot of these little feelings I think it's a really charming really adorable way to address the topic of just like being super grumpy with small humans so I recommend that bad boy too and finally we have this our friend Sato the rabbit I love this I am obsessed with this book. Every page, it's like you're opening a pile of presents and the next page is like an even better present than the one that preceded it, even though that first present was pretty good, you know? So it's split into these little vignettes. Oh, I didn't show you the author. Ah. And illustrator. So yeah, so little vignettes all about this bunny. And with each one, it gets more strange and imaginative and wonderful and yeah, I am, as I said, obsessed with the cute, cute little turns and the art is so nice, so whimsical. I love the whimsy. So I think if you do read a couple of books about, about feelings, the two before, this is a nice little palette cleanser to kind of like come back and feel good. Um, yeah, that's it. Thank you for listening to my feelings on these books. Uh, two of them are by Enchanted Lion Books and uh, one is by Porto Publishing. So thank you for, uh, for letting me talk about your books and for creating really great books and that's all. Okay, bye.